I will show you the quickest and easiest way to upload files to Superbase using React. This is what the final result will look like. You will be able to easily drag and drop files into this component and have it uploaded to Superbase. This is what it looks like when you drag and drop files into this component. Then you can click upload file to upload it to Superbase. Also, I will leave a link in the description and in the comments where you can download all of the code that I show in this tutorial. To get started, I will open my React app and I will assume you already have your React app set up and you also need to install ShadCN UI if you haven't already. If you don't have ShadCN UI already installed, I have another video my channel that shows you the exact step-by-step -step process of how to do that. Once you have both of those set up, the first step is to go to this page here and then copy the command, go back to VS Code, and just paste in the command that we just copied. If you're using React 19, you will see this message. You can use either option. I will just use the first one. Looking over here, we can see the new component called Drop Zone has been installed for us, which is what we will be using to upload files. To display the upload file component, we can go back to documentation and scroll down, copy the code here, and paste it into our React app. Next, we need to create an env file to store our variables that we would need to properly upload files. This is what it will look like. You will have two keys, one for the Superbase URL and one for the Superbase anon key. We can get these values from the project settings in the Superbase dashboard. If you haven't created a project yet, we can easily do that by going to superbase.com, sign up for an account. This is what the dashboard should look like once you've logged in. Click new project, click your organization, Name the project, whatever you would like, as well as your password. For the region, choose the region that's closest to you, then click Create New Project. Once the project is done, this is what it should look like. On the left-hand side, we can go to Project Settings, click Data API. For the Superbase URL, just copy the value here. And then for an add-on key, just copy the value here. Once you have those values, just make sure to paste them here. Going back to the React code, you can see here that there are props for the upload file component. Here we can specify different things such as the bucket name, which is where we are storing the files, the max amount of files, the max file size, and all these other properties that you see here. If we go back to documentation and scroll down, you can see it gives us a better description of what each of these values mean. Going back to the code, we need to make one more change and that's to change this back to app. And then down here, we can just do export default app. One last thing we need to do is to set up a bucket to upload our files in. The code that we copied from earlier has the bucket name as test. So I will create a new bucket named test. We can easily do that by going back to the Superbase dashboard, go into our project, and on the left-hand side, click storage, click new bucket, name a test, click save. You will need to configure the policy on the bucket that we just created. For this tutorial, I will use a simple policy that will allow anyone to upload to the bucket. Just a quick note, this is not a secure policy, so make sure you update this policy if you need to. To quickly create a new policy, click new policy, then full customization. Give the name of the policy, click insert, then click review, then save policy. Now we can go back to our React app and actually run the app, open the app, and we can now see this is the upload file component. Now we can upload a file by just uploading any image we want and click upload files. You should see the success message letting us know that the file was successfully uploaded. Going back to the Superbase dashboard and going to the storage section, if we click on our test bucket that we created earlier and refresh the page, we should now see a folder called test and inside here is the image that we just uploaded. That is the end of this Superbase upload tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.